Uh, hey there, uh, in this video, I wanted to show how you can manage your team uh, within Bito. Uh, while Bito is great for uh, personal use, uh, it comes with the robust team management feature where you can organize your team in a workspace and uh, you can manage their access uh, uh, to Bito. So there are two ways you can uh, get to the team management feature. Uh, you can go to the Bito website, the alpha.bito.co, you can log into your account and uh, manage your team from the web interface. Or if you have Bito extensions installed, uh, you can access the team management feature from inside the Bito extension as well. Um, you click the gear icon and then there's a settings menu. When you click the settings menu, it will open up the Bito website and will automatically log you into uh, the Bito website. Uh, here you can uh, manage your teams. So for example, I'm logged into a workspace called Product UX Workspace. That's kind of my workspace. And uh, I can go to settings. Uh, there are two kinds of settings. The personal settings which are uh, specific to the user. And then there are uh, workspace specific settings which are only accessible to the admin or the owner of the workspace. So I'm going to show you the workspace settings and how you can manage your uh, team uh, in that workspace. So here you have a general workspace settings where you can change the workspace name. Uh, we also create a workspace URL that you can share with your colleagues and with this workspace URL they can join this workspace without uh, needing the invitation. The second uh, setting is uh, to make this workspace discoverable to your teammates based on the email domain. Um, so I have, for example, turned this setting on with my email domain, bito.co. So anybody who logs into the bito.bito with the bito.co email, they will see this product UX space uh, uh, available to join. Uh, you can go to members page to manage your team members and there are various features that we support. Uh, the first one is you can invite your members by email. Uh, so you click the invite member uh, button here and you can type the email address. Uh, for example, I can invite my colleague Amar by and you can type the multiple email address and once you hit send it will an uh, email invitation will be uh, sent to uh, the email address that you invited. A second thing you can do is you can manage uh, the permissions of the users. Uh, we support uh, three main roles. Uh, there is the owner role, uh, there is a user role, and there is the admin role. Um, owner and admin are able to manage workspace settings. Uh, they can invite uh, new members. They can disable user access, etc. The user is a standard, uh, you know, user. Uh, which can use Bito features, uh, uh, but cannot manage the workspace or the team settings. Uh, you can deactivate a user. Uh, so for example, if I want to deactivate this user because this user is no longer with my organization, I can simply deactivate. And once you do that, that user will not have access to, uh, you know, the shared Bito workspace account that the user was part of. You can see the status of uh, the users in terms of how long they have been active member of the workspace, uh, when the invitation was sent, and if you want to uh, resend the invitation because they have not accepted the invitation, you can simply click the resend button to, uh, you know, reinvite the user. Uh, in addition to that, there are things like you can, uh, like force re-authentication if you want a user to re-authenticate uh, for either security purpose or to manage the access account access account access um, and uh, you can certainly you know if you have a long list of users you can search for the users and uh, it will give you the list of the users based on the search criteria yeah so i hope that uh, you know this gives you a a good insights into how Bito can be used 
uh, within the organizations and uh, uh, how you can kind of share the same workspace to uh, use better features with your colleagues.